Hey beautiful women, so my AC is on and it might be a little bit loud but it's way too hot for me to not keep it on today. We are experiencing a heat wave, the beginning of a heat wave. So I want to do a plan with me. I'm, I actually need to, to plan for the next week so I feel, felt like if I recorded maybe I'll get some other people who enjoy plan with me. It's also two quotes at the top of this dashboard that came in the June box reads an attitude or outlook that is optimistic positive and hopeful that's what this word means i'm definitely trying to be more optimistic more positive hopeful and i'm pursuing success with my life in a sense because this planning is more than just you know using pretty paper and stickies and pens it's more about am i doing what i can do to stay on top of my children's schedules my household schedule, my cleaning schedule, um, special events, you know, things like that. Am I staying on top of it? And am I, and am I doing it in a way that is joyful for me? Um, so that's really why I'm doing it. One of the things I didn't really like in the June box are these gray tab dividers. I like the side tabs. I really would prefer a side tab for like this half letter because it's like when I open it, I can just choose what I want. I don't mind it but the dark color that was the reason the only thing I, I really didn't like about it the other thing i really loved about the subscription box box is that they included a traveler's notebook and i know there's a traditional way to use these because again it's really you know it's it's a specific item it's a traveler's notebook i love it though i just put inside the page pins that came with the june sub box this one keeps coming off, but I'm not I'm not fretting about that too much. I just really like transparent stick notes, transparent page pins, transparent almost any kind of sticky. Just because I'm more functional than anything else, I have these label stickers. You won't really be able to see them without like a white paper backing it. I don't have anything like that, but I love what the labels say. There's a lifestyle labels there are lifestyle labels, essential labels, and then time labels. I really like these. Um, I'm not 100% sure how I'll use them in this book, but I will be using them at some point. My life is pretty busy right now, so it's hard for me to sit down and like record how I'm planning, but I kind of want to do it because it's fun and um, I need to stay accountable. So this chicken scratch on this page is basically my list. Uh, well, while I was on the go, um, backtrack really quick. This fits in my purse really, really easy. I have a, um, it's not a satchel. It's a small coach bag. I don't want a huge bag because then everyone will throw the things in it and I'll start throwing things in it and I don't like that. So let me see if I can show you without showing you inside. This is what my bag looks like. It's a little messy right now because I just came from run, running errands. But the traveler's notebook fits in my bag perfectly. It doesn't stick out and I love it. So I just wanted to share how I was using it. I really, really like it. Um, making lists on the go so I know what I need to do. And sometimes if I'm just in a rush and I feel like I want to write down some of the things we did on a certain day and... You know how we celebrated what we did I wanted to make memories whatever I just write that down I don't think there's a real um, I don't, I'm not trying to be too strict with myself on how I should be using it and maybe when I get the chance to sit down and take a good 10 minutes to just think about what I'm thinking about write down some affirmations in here I would love to do that too because whenever there's a down moment I'd love to use it for that Okay, so that, that was it. Okay, so here's the plan with me. I'm going to be using this V-Ball 0.5 pen that came in the June subscription box because I really do like how it writes. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to incorporate it or if I will actually use it, but I'm thinking about these transparent page pins that came in another subscription box at some point. I just love the neutral colors and this palette. I think it will match with these stick notes in case I have to use them because um, next week uh, between 
23rd and the 29th of June, there's going to be no more school. So I really need to start thinking about all of the events and the things that I'm going to create and do with my children to keep them, you know, not occupied, but happy and fulfilled and giving them experiences. And some of the experiences will have to be low cost or free or free because we just you know don't have it within the budget so I want to be strategic about using these because I might have to I don't want to write something in and it doesn't happen or it can't happen on that day so I think if I use these stick notes to fill in a place I would like to take my kids or a place I would like to go or something I'd like to do and I have to move it to a different day I can simply remove the stick note and place it somewhere else like I think that's how I'd like to do it because things change from day to day these priority stickers are really nice to me. We have the matcha color, and then there's the olive color, and then there's the beignet or beignet. I don't know how to say that. Correct me in the comments, please. How do you say that? Beignet? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I really like this one. And then I'm really big on the matcha. Green is my favorite color, so this olive is really close to that, but I feel like it might be too dark for for what I want to do on this spread. So I might end up using the matcha and this color. So let's put that to the side. Um, and this came off, which is probably perfect because I think this color is a little too dark. And this is too big. Oh my gosh, I mean, shucks, I wrote on Friday. Ah, okay. Anyway, I like to slow down, light a candle um, while it's quiet. The baby girl, my baby girl is four months now and I fed her and gave her a four ounce bottle of milk. So she's quiet and I should be able to get through this without waking her up. So I have a chance to get all of my thoughts down on paper while we plan for this last week of June. Oh my goodness. A lot of things are happening for me. Well, not for me personally but like for my children so um, my four-year-old just turned five so he's five he's not four anymore and he is going to kindergarten so that's a big step and um, he has a lot of testosterone <laughs> he's very energetic and he's also extremely sweet and caring and I'm a little concerned with him but I want to start you know incorporating some things in our routine especially during the summer that will um, help him to expend some of his energy as we learn as he you know um, reads a little bit more and I want him to focus a little bit more so some of my plans are going to like um, be centered around that so um, the library is a great free resource in our area and I would like to be able to take advantage of some of the free events that they have at the library just so that um, you know again he can you know socialize with other children and you know strengthen his reading skills and you know stuff like that and I just um, I'm trying to think while I'm planning how what things I want to do because again a lot of those plans that we do outside are pretty much going to be centered around him because I want to give him as much help as I possibly can so I'm doing a lot of talking but I am I'm really doing a plan with me here I'm not trying to um, put on a show even though I do love to record and edit and I like you know meeting new people even on the internet or interwebs I do appreciate you know being able to um, talk to different people and get new ideas about how to be and stay productive and even ideas on you know how to create um, my weekly plans I really love this pen or marker it's in the color chocolate milk I got this in another cloth and paper subscription I'm just so grateful for it because you know, I like some of the goodies that they send, and I think that might be nice to incorporate for something. Maybe. I'm not sure. Because these colors just, like, make me feel happy. 
I'm going to highlight the week that we're planning for, 23rd through the 29th, and I'm going to write the list of groceries that I need to purchase first. Um, let's see. We need chicken. I don't know. I need chicken parts. I don't know if I want wings or if I just want like half a wing. I, I, I'll put wings because I'm not big on chicken wings. Like to have to break them apart. I like the little drumsticks maybe. Not drumsticks actually. They're really small. The fattier part of the wing is nice for me. Um, but one of my children, he loves chicken thighs. So... I want to pick up some chicken thighs. I do need barbecue sauce because I want to keep at least two extra or two, yeah, two additional in my pantry at all times. Especially because the summer's coming up. It's getting warm and I want easier meals that don't take, you know, 45 minutes to an hour to make. Um, I also need some shredded cheese for the macaroni and cheese that I'm going to make. Um, I need to sort of cook enough for like four days in advance because my husband works quite a bit and um, I want him to be able to carry lunch every day so he doesn't have to buy. Um, so I'm not just cooking for dinner, I'm cooking for lunches too. So chicken wings, so I can make barbecue wings, I'll make barbecue chicken thighs and then we'll have enough for leftovers for at least four days. Um, that helps me uh, we do need milk and I switched from one uh, full whole milk can't even talk from whole milk to 2% milk so I'm, I'm sticking with that I think I might even go dairy free for a while for myself personally because um, I think I, as I'm getting older my body doesn't process dairy as you know as well as it, it could um what else do we need? We need fruits and we need vegetables. So I'm going to choose oranges because they're in season and we already have strawberries. And then I'll buy broccoli crowns because they're easy. And then also, even though this is not a line, I need to add, or maybe I'll add it up here. I like to keep a space in between the title of what I'm writing and the bottom so I don't know where I want to put this do I want to write it on the top line or the bottom here which is not really a line I'll have to write it here because there's no check mark down here I could create one but I'd rather not so let me just write um, cobbed corn so that I can make that with the food and then I'll um, separate his lunches for at least two or three days hopefully okay so that is for groceries I think I'll just hmm, don't want to make that brown or blue I'm really really not sure I think I'll do this color for the things I want to buy and then this brown color for the things I need to do if that makes sense I think I'll do that so on Sunday the 23rd the first thing we have on our to-do list is attend church and that's important um, on Sunday the 23rd I don't think there's anything else that is top-notch important um, after church I know we need to I need to wash a lot of my baby's clothes. I don't know if I'll be able to do it, um, or at least the way I'm thinking of doing it. I don't know if I'll be able to do it on Sunday, but let's, let me just write that just in case. My to-do would be church at 10 a.m. and then a new baby girl's laundry. So right now her laundry is separate because she's so small. And I'll just do that here. My husband usually does the laundry for everyone, for the whole house, except the baby girl. Um, and he'll do that on a separate day. So I'm thinking that. And then Sunday, because it's the start of the last week of 
um, school the school year I think what I'll do is clean up my closet so let me let me put that here or not really clean out but declutter it declutter which is pretty much throwing out everything because I can't stand clutter it just it hurts it actually feels like it hurts almost physically to have so much stuff piled up in one space so I'll declutter closet and I know which closet that is because I need to create a space before um, school lets out being home for two months with all of these children is gonna be a lot to buy I don't think I have anything to buy on Sunday besides um, our water we do buy bottled water we have not purchased a filter yet I think we'll consider purchasing a filter when we move from where we are um, and I think I'll buy two cases and is there anything else I need to buy my nails for me I want to have my nails done ahead of Monday so to buy would be my is it kiss or is it impress so these impress nails which I like to use because I don't have time for going to get my nails done right now with all this happening and I'll go to CVS and I'll buy them and I'll press them. I'll give my nails a little break because, you know, there's a lot, you know, going on in the last two weeks. But I definitely want to do that. So that's my to buy. And I'll use this to highlight Ooh, this part to highlight my, no, my to do's are brown. That's what I said, right? My to do's are going to be brown. I'm already not happy with how that turned out. Ugh, it makes me sad. Okay. Maybe I should have used... Let me see. Is it because this, this one is not as thick as that one? Okay. Anyway, that... It's okay, but it's not the best. I should have stuck with the stickers. I should have used the stickers, I think. You live and you learn. So anyway, we're going to try that. Um, Monday, I need to go in order. On Monday, we have... Do I need to go to the bank on Monday? Or no, Monday, I need to... I think I need to... I need to create July's budget, which I've already pre-planned, but let's do that. Create July's budget. I need to, I don't know if I'll be able to film it on Monday. I'll shoot for filming it. Film July budget setup. It's really going to be like a reset. So let me just say reset. And then we have um, my five-year-old step-up ceremony. You know what? I noticed I realized there's something else I need to do on Sunday. I just, I just remembered. Um, I really like skipping the space. I don't like... Like cluttering this space but I need to write in here I need to buy um, do I need one gift or two gifts I need two gifts for my son's teachers for teachers which will most likely either be flowers or a card and a gift card maybe a, a, a card and flowers I'll, I'll do that okay so that's my to do create July's budget on Monday film July budget reset and the step up ceremony for J3 okay I don't think I have any to buys um, but we also um, celebrate where we should we celebrate celebrate at oh let's go to twisted topic 
that would be nice I wrote over the line whatever <laughs> that's fine um, and I like I think these are priority stickers so that would definitely be a high priority I just want to see what this would look like I'm still figuring out you know how I like to set up these things I think I like this though celebrate twisted top it that is going to be considered a high priority because he's going to kindergarten it's a big boy thing he just turned five he's a whole hand he was super excited about it he let everybody know <laughs> so that's going to be a high priority and then I will just highlight oh, wrong end again I'll highlight my to do okay what else is there on Tuesday to do there is class because Wednesday is the last day of school so I could actually give the I don't know if we'll give the gifts on Monday or on Tuesday since they will still have school on Tuesday um, I don't think I have anything else I do have to film that day because if they'll be in school I need to get a chance to film so I will need to track my expenses right and film for my other channel MYM and then I need to let me just right here I will schedule my July budget schedule my July budget within July budget video okay and I don't think there's anything else to buy on Tuesday um, oh I think I have I need to actually check my PO box on Tuesday I need to make sure I do that before the kids get out of school and then um, research free activities I've, I've already done this but I just want to write this as a reminder to search again to make sure I know exactly what we can do during the week once they're out of school um, I don't think I have it to buy I don't think so I could buy I don't I did that's for water but then buy the groceries because by Wednesday I won't have I don't like going to the grocery store with my kids sometimes I do and I don't because I want to show them how to how to pick out the freshest fruit and how to stick to your list and your budget and all those things I want to teach them you know those life skills now but sometimes it's just too hectic taking all the, the little ones with me to the grocery store okay this is the last day of school so and I think there is something, um, let me see, story time at the library, story time at library, I don't know which one that is, I need to bank, do a bank run, and this is not in order, because the story time is like at later in the afternoon, the bank run I'll have to do in the morning while they're still in school, and I have to run through the car wash and I'll have to oh you know what on Monday I'll need to fill up the gas tank so let me write that down so I need to um, gas up the car <laughs> And that is going to be medium priority. Not that it's not important, but I want to save the high priority stickers for something like extremely important. So that's important there. Okay. Um, to buy. We need um, air fresheners for the car. And I'm doing it this day because I'll be at the bank anyway. And we need air fresheners 
for a car. We need um, cleaning wipes for the car. And I'll do that. So my to buy would be in this beautiful blue color. I'm not quite sure what the name of the color is, but I really do like it. And then my to-dos. And then I'll just highlight the rest of these. I should just do that. To-do. 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 Ah, darn it. Ah, oh, that highlight is making me sad. Because <laughs> it's not... It's not the way I'd like it to be. I am a bit particular, so, you know, I'm not really 100% liking this right now. I'm a little sad that it's not turning out the way I imagined it would. Okay, to-dos for Thursday, we have, um, we have to go to the playground. That's one of the first things I'd like to do because it's free doesn't cost a lot of money and they will expend much energy on Thursday we could also hit up um, let's do the botanical garden because that was fun and um, that's probably it for Thursday the laundry will get done on Friday yeah I have to do my payment so close out paycheck budget okay um, um, do a bottle return on this day and uh, my baby's waking up library at 11 a.m. We have to go early because if we go early, my baby will have a nap. She'll be quiet, <laughs> quieter, and the other one they can pick. My other two who are out of school can probably pick out some books. So we'll do that on Friday, Saturday. I'm not sure. I know we have, we need to play board games. So I'm going to write that in, play board games. Because that will be fun. And if the weather permits, meaning it's not raining, we can always go out and um, walk the boardwalk. Which is always fun because if they have music, we could listen to some music. We could get a little something to eat. And that would be fun. I'm going to write it to buy here because I might end up buying something, but I don't know. Um, also, you know what? On Sunday, uh, and I don't have enough space. Even though it's a to buy. Or maybe I'll do that this weekend. We'll have to fill that in. I was thinking about um, buying a new outfit for my son's step-up ceremony on Monday. We'll see how that goes. Um, I don't have anything else that I think I need to remember. I don't right now. And so let me just use these because, again, I almost forgot to use these. Playing board games definitely can happen. Walk the boardwalk can definitely happen. But I'm also not sure about um, my film days. Um, and so, because that, that might change. I normally would film on Monday. But Monday is the ceremony and we might be out. So I'm just going to put it here. And then I reserve the right to move this if I need to. I should have waited a few more seconds because my thumb ran across the ink and it smeared a little bit. Um, all right, my edit, my edit times because edit videos, when am I going to be able to do that? 
I'm trying not to edit as much as I can, which means I have to speak carefully. I have to know exactly what I'm doing. So when it's time for me to set up um, my videos, I, they don't require too much editing. And I don't have a whole lot of filler words in there because I, I don't want to have filler words every time. It makes editing so much harder. Now I want to get rid of this somehow. I'm not sure how to do it. What to use to get rid of that. I don't have stickers readily available. I should, but I don't. I found this. I bought this from um, Gold Mining Coco a few years ago. And I think I will use this sticker here. And I will just place it right at the bottom to cover that. Ooh. Okay. That's nice. And um, not bad. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. There's a lot of writing, which I don't mind. And that's not terrible. So, okay. There we go. Um, I'm not sure what to write here. Maybe I'll write what we actually did here. I'm not sure yet. I'll figure it out. But that's my plan for the next week or the last week of June and my baby's waking up just in time so let me clean up my desk and put this tab divider back inside my half letter I use my half letter like a place to write my to-do list or important you know little quotes or things from like conversations I have with people if they if they touch me in a way I write it down in here and that's just how I use that I'm gonna put my stickers back this baby girl's whining because she's waking up so let me go ahead and quickly add back in these pages for this week the next week <laughs> You'll probably see this on Sunday the 23rd. So I hope your week starts off well and wonderful things happen for you. I pray that the Lord will bless you and keep you. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I think I did everything I needed to do. I hope that you found some enjoyment in it. I hope I wasn't too all over the place. And I hope that you would like, comment, and subscribe and come back for, you know, more content because I'll be doing some planning. I'll probably make, you know, um, some different content, like maybe I'll do some vlogs. I just want to try different things and, you know, share pieces of my life because I love life. There was a time where life was so difficult that I felt like I don't know if I'll ever enjoy it. But I love life and I love learning. I love learning to plan and keep myself organized. And it helps me because I have so many children that need to be on top of everything. So that's it for this video. And I appreciate you for sticking around for as long as you did. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye for now.